Hey everyone, it's Crown Vic Caleb here, and today we're going to be installing the Lampfist Sound Alert Air Horn. So let's get started. The exact air horn we'll be installing is the Lampfist SAS P03 model. It comes with the speaker, horn amp, two switches, a momentary and two position, and the switch crimp connectors. It also came with some extra mounting hardware, but I'll end up using that when I have a center console in the future. Some of the stuff that you're going to need will be some wire, the correct mounting bolts and screws for the speaker and amp, as well as an inline fuse and fuses for it that will be connected to the switch later on. The switch I decided to use from the two that come with this horn is the momentary switch, so let's get installing. We can start by mounting the speaker, and I've decided to go with a center mount right behind my front grill. First, we need to pop the hood and then remove this plastic cover over where I want to mount the speaker. I'll do this by using a panel wrench and popping these plastic pins on each side of the plastic. Now that we have both of those pins out, we can lift the plastic out. Awesome, now we can take the speaker off of its bracket and find out where we want to put it. I'm just going to test fit the bracket in the spot I want to mount it, and then mark the holes. Everything's now marked out, but before I drill, I'm just going to put a little piece of painter's tape on the front, so if the drill slips a little, I'm not going to get my paint. Cool, now we can start drilling. Since the spot where I'm mounting the speakers is at an angle, I'll have to drill it at a slight angle, but everything will still mount just fine. Great, now I can put the speaker back on the bracket and use the two bolts, nuts, and lock washers I have to mount it into the holes we just drilled. At first I'll hand tighten the bolts, and then go back with the ratchet to tighten them down. Now the speaker is installed. Next, we're going to need to install the amp, and I found a perfect spot to mount it that's right near my battery. I'll first try test fitting it, and then we can mark the mounting holes with a sharpie. Now all four of the mounting holes are marked, we can start drilling. My sharpie was a little too thick to be able to mark the holes in the back, so I'll mount the amp with the two front screws and then drill the back holes. Now I can drill those back holes and put those screws in. Perfect! The amp is installed! Now we're going to need to wire all of these wires, and lucky for you, I made a super simple wire diagram for you guys to follow. This wiring diagram here is showing exactly how I wired this unit with the momentary switch to this vehicle. I'm going to be doing all of my soldering off camera, so I don't bore you with tons of soldering. Now that the soldering's done and looking nice, let me show you how I'm running these wires. I have both of my switch wires running through an already existing hole in my firewall. Now I'll use this crimp connector to connect my ground. After crimping that onto my cable, I'm going to ground it with this other cable on this bolt. I had to take my battery's negative terminal off to get my ratchet to fit. Now I can sneak my other ground cable onto this bolt and tighten it back in. Great, now that it's grounded, I can put my negative terminal back on the battery. Perfect. Now I'll add these crimp connectors on the switch wires and plug it in. Awesome! I also hid some of the wiring too. Now I need to add a fuse into the inline fuse on the switch and then connect the positive to the battery. Now I'm going to zip tie the horn wires down so they look nice. Sweet, now let's put that plastic cover back on. Now we can push in the same two clips that we took out before.
cool. Now everything is organized and ready to go. Let's test it out. Awesome, it works. Well, great, everything's working good, and I hope you enjoyed the third episode of the P71 Project, and I hope you stay along for the upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.